So are we talking about a time during the flood or are we now dealing with that post-flood time? The rocks themselves that are being cut here, that slumped in, are the rocks we were looking at before that have evidence of the flood itself. Okay. So these rocks have already formed. Mm -hmm. They've already hardened enough to uh, create cliffs and be resistant. So we must be talking about the period after the flood. In addition, this feature is relatively small. I mean, it doesn't look as <laughs> small as here, uh -huh. but if you look at it from a satellite, the flood sediments cross entire continents. But what you find about these canyons and uh, the sediments that are formed at the same time is they're very localized. They're in smaller regions. In f and so it suggests we're no longer in the global flood. We're in that period of recovery following the flood. That's part, that's that, that exponential curve we were talking about yesterday where, where we've got a lot of tremoring going on, trembling in, in the earth. Exactly, whatever catastrophism was occurring during the flood it, it eases off and gets less and less catastrophic as time passes following the flood. So we're in that period then? We're this, in that period, the Arfax Sadian okay. epoch, uh -huh. when uh, the earthquakes of the flood, enormous earthquakes of the flood are reducing in intensity to smaller and smaller earthquakes. Uh, the volcanoes of the flood, enormous volcanoes of the flood are getting smaller and smaller and less frequent in time. And the wetness of the flood, the flood is obviously water covering the entire earth, that the earth is drying following the flood. Mm -hmm. But immediately following the flood, the earth would have been extremely wet, not just from the water of the flood, but actually huge amounts of rain. 